What's up guys? If you need a way to study common gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria, I made a graphic that breaks them down into certain categories in a visual way. I won't go into great detail, just a flyby. You can always screenshot it, print it out, or even buy a sticker to put it in a notebook. Link in the description to my Redbubble account where you can find those stickers. Let's jump right in. The top half here is gram-positive bacteria. They are further divided by shape, bacillus or rod shaped, cocci or round shaped, and over here is a weird one, filamentous branching. Further dividing it, they can use oxygen or not, aka aerobic if they do, anaerobic if they do not. Now we are getting into specific classes, and I'll only mention some of the big ones. Clostridium, which encompasses tetanus, botulism, and C. diff, Staphylococcus, most recognizably Staph aureus, which is further split into methicillin resistant, aka MRSA, or not, MSSA. Streptococcus has a lot of different bugs, and they are divided in how they hemolyze blood. Alpha hemolysis means partially, beta is totally, the agar turns clear when it is grown, and gamma is not at all. Finally, there is the acid fast bacilli, mycobacterium, tuberculosis and leprosy are well-known bugs here. Blazing on the head, we have the bottom half of gram-negative bacteria. Bacilli, curved rods, cocobacilli, Diplococci. McConkie's agar has to do with lactose metabolism. If a germ can ferment lactose, it turns pink. E. coli is a big one that falls into this category. Hydrogen sulfide production is another characteristic to define germs by, and Salmonella and Proteus both fall into that category. All the curved rods are oxidase positive, along with the bacilli Pseudomonas. Cocobacilli. Notable germs include Bordetella pertussis, aka whooping cough along with Haemophilus influenza. Diplococci are important because it includes Neisseria species, gonorrhea and STI and meningitides, an important CNS infection. Well guys, that was super brief. Like I said, take a screenshot, subscribe, buy a sticker of it, or all of the above. A few more quick study helps are available on the channel. Check them out and have a good one.